Let's take a look at who exactly Abramovich is. Well, the Russian billionaire has a net worth of $15 billion. He was the governor of Chukotka from 2000 to 2008. He has a global business empire as well as personal assets that include a fleet of business jets, mansions, and yachts. Abramovich's business empire includes the British Premier League football club, Chelsea FC, which he acquired in 2003. Last month, his visa to visit the UK expired. The UK government has not renewed it, and they've declined to comment on the case. Well, Roman Abramovich has assets in Israel. He's also of Jewish descent, granting him the right to Israeli citizenship. Well, Sami Hamdi, the editor of International Interest, says Israel's move to grant Abramovich citizenship may have annoyed the UK. I mean, look here, for example, they tried to punish Roman Abramovich. I mean, there are very few people who will deny that the failure to extend his visa isn't politicized. It's clearly politicized. However, here you have Israel, which is meant to be a UK ally, undercutting the UK's uh, leverage over the Russian oligarchs. Besides this delaying the visa and complicating the Russian oligarchs' business activities in the UK, what else can the UK do to punish the oligarchs? Moreover, it, you, Israel is embarrassing the UK on the international stage, essentially saying you're not actually the superpower that you think uh, you are. And this is the biggest problem that the UK has now. How does it react to Roman Abramovich? Legally, it cannot stop him coming to the UK anymore. It, and it tried to make him the example against the others. Now the Russian oligarchs know that if they can negotiate citizenship from another country via Israel, via a lot of them are Jewish uh, businesses themselves, they will, they will be able to access the Israeli citizenship. What's left for the UK to leverage against these particular oligarchs? So I think it's a big blow for the UK that Israel has sort of sidestepped uh, UK attempts to punish uh, these oligarchs, and London will not be happy at all. Uh, at events today. Uh, the UK government has been uh, uh, quiet about this, um, understandably so. I mean, it's, it's an embarrassment uh, on their behalf. I imagine there are backdoor negotiations going on between Israel and the UK. Let's remember that Israeli foreign policy, uh, they always rebuke allies who don't stand with them on key issues, in this case, the Iran deal. But I also think there's, there's greater interest at stake. Israel is trying to soothe Russia, trying to make Russia feel uh, comfortable because of Israeli activities in Syria. So I think it's a bit outside of UK hands. Also, there is another angle to it, which isn't, which, which suggests that it's not all Machiavellian, in that Abramovich has had a lot of investments in Israel. He's invested millions there. Uh, he's a friend of Israel. Uh, so in terms of Israel coming and helping him out, I think there is that personal relationship. Also, Netanyahu is uh, besotted. He's, he has all these corruption allegations on all these problems domestically. To have a billionaire... Uh, become a citizen of your country and to encourage him to put money into your country is a bonus for him domestically as well.